Hi. For this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the Sigma Spectrum IV pump, which is used for our transports. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have your Sigma Spectrum pump. They are a single channel and have your appropriate medication or fluid that you want to infuse. First thing you do is push the on off button and it'll bring up your power status. This shows fully charged. And then we're going to select what department we would like to utilize. For purposes of this demonstration, we're going to select the emergency department. There's buttons here, quick picks, on, off, setup, OK, and run or stop. If you had wanted to select a different department, you would simply use the buttons right below the up and down arrows to get to the area that you want it to be in. So we'll scroll back up to emergency department and push OK. Now it's asking, type the first two letters of the drug name or type the first letter and press OK. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to select basic. Normal saline is not an option under this menu in the Sigma Spectrum pump and the fluid that I am using for demonstration is indeed normal saline. So, you use your keypad much like you use to text message you select the first letter and then the space goes to the next indent and you hit the next letter. It'll bring up, usually after two letters, a list of drug names. So there's basic. I'm going to scroll down and highlight basic and click OK. Now this is a primary bag. You have the option if it was a secondary bag to select that as well. However, primary bag is already highlighted so I'm going to push the OK button. It is asking for a milliliters per hour or you have up down indications so you can switch to milliliters kilogram per hour or grams per hour it depends upon what medication you're infusing and what is appropriate. For this demonstration I'm going to select milliliters per hour it's highlighted, I'm going to push the OK button and now it's asking me for a rate so let's say we're going to do 200 milliliters per hour. Then I simply hit OK and it'll advance to the next line asking me for the total volume to be infused. I will select it for ease of demonstration 200 milliliters. I'm going to push OK. It calculates that that's going to take one hour. And at this point, volume given in milliliters is none. Okay, so now we have to actually open this on the IV tubing. You'll see a blue slide clamp. This slide clamp goes into the top of the chamber here to open the door. Now the thing is it can only go in one way. Once you push it in, it goes in, and you can see that the next thing, there's a green check, meaning that was correct. Now load into guide two. You simply put the tubing in there and just press it in with your finger. When it satisfactorily takes, it turns green. Now load guides into three and four. So you keep pushing down. Okay, once they're loaded in, you close the door. Sometimes it's a little fussy. If you have a problem, you just reopen the door and you, once again, run it through, close the door, and now you're going to hit run. Now you make sure that you take the blue clamp out. Run again. And it's asking to see if your drops are flowing in the chamber, which they are. So we're going to go ahead and hit the yes. Now this pump will alarm quite often if there's a problem. 
So it's asking about a downstream occlusion. So with any other pump, you hit the silence button and then troubleshoot your tubing. And right here, okay. So right here, it was a simple, it's the roller clamp that's closed down. So by opening up the roller clamp, making sure nothing else is clamped off, it's running right now. The pump is pretty self-sufficient. Now here's another uh, piece of advice that it's giving air in lines. You want to silence this and it tells you how to uh, how to check it. So upstream occlusion may exist. So check for kinks and closed clamps above the pump. Okay, to advance air for aspiration from the lower Y site, press OK and then run. Hit OK. So the nice thing about this is when you get yourself into trouble where a, a pump or a device is alarming, knowing how to fix those alarms are a big portion of the battle.